Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're going to debunk this blend effect in Illustrator. So this is not done with blend tool because it cannot be done with the blend tool. You know, if you want to blend letters like this, you need a different approach. So we're going to do that and see what happens. Okay, so first step, make sure that uh, you're going to create a letter, something in between and we got like 82 width and 82 height. So this rectangle is the same dimension. I'm going to create a letter. I'm going to select, select the type tool, click. I'm going to type in the letter M. I'm going to go to the, what is that? Characters, I'm going to type in Intel. Inter, yeah, it's the inter. I'm going to select the thin. By the way, this font is totally for free. You can search up in Google and download it. So I'm going to select the thin version. Actually, I'm going to go, yeah, I'm going to go with the light, okay? I'm going to go to object, expand, click OK. I'm going to delete this box. Okay, so I'm going to scale it up and I'm going to check here the width and the height. So for example, if I'm going to type in 82, it's going to make it wide. Why? Because now it's separated. We got this link here. I'm going to click on it and now it's going to connect and I'm going to type in 82 and it's going to make the height and the width, you know, bigger also. From here, make sure to select the actions. If you don't have the action, go to Windows and select the actions. I'm going to create a new folder right here. I'm going to type in blend2. I'm going to click OK and click on the little plus to create new action. I'm going to click on record. And from here, we're going to go um, to object. We're going to go to the path and offset path. Make sure to type in to the offset 9 pixels, click OK. And go here to the little swap button and swap it from fill to stroke. There you go. And now I'm going to stop the action with this. And from here, I just gonna go to the action and click on play and play and make a lot of copies. I think this is gonna be the last one. I can check it. I'm gonna deselect the field, so I'm gonna click on the none. I'm gonna go to the stroke and click on this little box, so it's gonna color it with colors. Right click on group and select the middle one, and I'm gonna swap it back to fill. And I'm going to also add some stroke, of course, this is going to break the typography rules, all that stuff, but we're going to break it now. So I'm going to add two more strokes and I'm going to add, let me see what kind of thickness. So as you can see, it's going to cut out the edges here. We got the limit on four. I'm going to increase the limit, for example, on seven and it's going to make it sharp again. Okay. So right now, as you can see, this one is thicker than the middle one. We need the middle one to be the thickest. The one that is in the center. So I'm going to go somewhere around four. So we got some difference going on. I might add another one. No, it's not good. I'm going to go with eight. All right. So this is going to be eight. This is going to be seven. So this is manual work, halfway manual, halfway automated. But this is the way I debunked this. And there you go. This is it. Uh, it's pretty easy. It's pretty straightforward. Actually, I'm going to need to add more thickness to this one because as you can see, we got a lot of distance in here. And yeah, this is it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.